So to say that this summer has been unusual is a bit of an understatement, but one of the things that came to light was more first time boat owners than ever before. And what I predict is come this winter, we're gonna see these boat owners spending a lot of time in the boat yard, customizing the boat, updating systems, and making it the way they wanna make it. And I think, I'm gonna go ahead and bet, one of the most popular installs is gonna be something similar to what I have in my hand right now. Uh, Vetus Maxwell Pro 42. And after one or two, maybe stressful docking situations, I think a lot of people will be clamoring for the comfort and the marriage saving abilities that a bow thruster brings to you. Today, we're gonna be installing one of these on a Juno 795, learning a little bit more about the process and reporting back in case you're considering this project yourself. So we have the Vetus Bow Pro 46. This is a 12 volt uh, brushless motor. Uh, we have some of our common components here is the controller, which takes our positive and our negative feed and converts that into our signal, into our motor, uh, brushless motor, which will then take that, send that power down through the drive shaft and the coupler onto our saddle, which is what actually makes the watertight seal uh, to the tube. Uh, mounting to the right angle drive leg in the tunnel. And then that takes that motor power, spins the prop, and produces the thrust out of the tunnel. So normally a hole, a hole in a hole is a bad thing, but now we have a hole in a hole in a hole. But today that's good news. This is where the Vetus Maxwell Pro 42 is gonna come through. It's really amazing how fast one of these Vetus Maxwell thrusters can be installed if you hire the right professional. You, for a company like New England Bow Thruster, a trusted company that's been doing this a long time, they can get this project done in just a single day. I mean, imagine that. You're holed out in the morning, cruising and docking in more confidence in the evening. And while it, it seems like it's a simple project, and in some ways it is, this is definitely a project you want best left to the professionals. They're gonna make sure this is, this is done right and it gives you the confidence in the system that you need. For more on how to install a VS Maxwell bow thruster on your boat, stay tuned to an upcoming issue of Power Motiot or at pmymag.com.